What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, today we're here to discuss Vampire Lord's new buffs. These changes are in the game right now, the class has already been changed. I thought I'd make that clear because AE does a pretty terrible job of communicating these changes to their player base. The only place we can actually see all this is on Twitter currently. Now I already made a full video going over literally everything to do with this class, so if you want to know how to use the class, the enhancements or whatever, then follow the first link in the description to watch that video. The buffs themselves are listed on the screen now, let's talk about what they mean. First of all, some passives have had slight adjustments. One of your rank 4 passives was changed from an endurance buff to a 15% damage buff. Your rank 10 passive was changed from a 20% damage buff to a 15% damage buff. Now this has got some people worried because another change they made, which was uh, Slash, which is your auto attack, now deals 60% damage. Originally it was 70%. And Ghoul Gouge damage has been reduced by 20%. Arklin, who is AKW's lead class designer, assures us that these changes were made to increase the overall damage output, and from my testing this seems to be true. Two other major changes are the class now targets three monsters on all abilities, which is a huge buff to the class. It's up there with most other farming classes in the game now. And the lifesteal heal ability now heals and damages for 35%. It was 50% before, but as you might know, life steals will heal you in proportion to the damage you deal, and you'll be dealing more damage now because of the, your lifesteal targeting three monsters instead of just two. I've seen some people saying that these, these changes are a nerf for the class and that it's worse before. However, you need to remember that we've gotten a 15% damage increase passive, which is on top of the 15% damage increase on the rank 10 passive. Oh yeah, and we can also target three monsters at once with this class instead of just two, which is a pretty massive buff. Do these changes make the class hugely better than before? No. It's still just a pretty decent farming class, and it's not really going to beat out any of the top tier farming classes like Blazebinder or Abyssal Angel or even Eternal Inversionist. I don't, I still don't think it'll beat that class. But once the rewrite comes out, the haste boost will work properly, and the class goes from an average to an absolutely amazing farming class. I'll show you guys some gameplay in the background now of the class on the on the testing servers. Clearly, this class was designed for the server rewrite, and maybe that means that the rewrite's coming soon. Who knows? Either way though, if you've got any thoughts on this class that you'd like to share, then I'd love to hear your opinion in the comment section down below. That's going to do it for today's video. I'll leave a poll in the comments, I'll pin it to the top, um, regarding my next video. I just got Great Thief, so I could do a video on that, or I could compare Great Thief to something else. Go vote on that poll. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!